Yo guys, what's good? Um, before we get into the video, um, I recorded it. I was watching it back and realized that I didn't sort out the audio so you can actually hear what I've done. So what I'm gonna do is just play it for you now so you can hear the end product and continue watching to see how I achieved this. So we're gonna do three kits in this expansion. Um, this is one. This is two. And this is three. So keep watching to see how we get this done. Peace out. Yo, what's good everyone? It's Wesley Paul here, back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to make an NPC expansion. Now, before I get started, just to see, if you've seen my previous video when I showed you how to manage your folders, you will see how you might not need to create an expansion. If it's for your own personal use, you can always just save your program and that will load your kit back up whenever you need to without you having to go through the whole process of creating an expansion however if you want to create expansions to sell on for other people then by all means i understand um, follow along um, so let's get into it so after i finish making expansion i'm going to show you how you see like these ones where you can preview them i'm going to show you how you can do that as well okay so let's go for the purpose of the tutorial, I've created three different um, sequences for three different kits, which I'm going to put into the expansion. So let's see what we're dealing with. We've got a trap kit, we've got an afro kit, and we've got a house kit. Yeah, so those are the kits that we are going to put into an expansion. Now, first of all, um, tip, which is really important, when you are creating these, make sure you're naming everything. Name your sequence, name your track, name your program accordingly. And what you should do is name them before you save your project. Okay, it will just save you time and headache later. So anyway, make sure you have your sequence and all of that. And then what you're gonna do is go to the lines up here. Once you've saved this, everything saved and then you go to file and then you're going to save current sequence okay right here and then that's going to go into this one here so then press save now you need to do that with all of your kits i've already done it with the other two just to make this tutorial quicker after you've done that you're going to have to go to file, export as an audio mix down. Okay, bring, bring this audio trail down to zero. And then where it says here, you see right here, it says save as project preview. Make sure that is ticked. Uh, you can do as a wave or MP3, whichever one you prefer. Um, and then press export. Now, the annoying thing with that bit there is you can't choose where you export that to and you can't change the name. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you where it's gone to and I'm gonna show you how to change the name. So what you need to do now is locate your folder where you normally save your projects. So your projects will be going into a folder. So I've got a folder called MPC Beats and that's where all my projects go to. So if you locate that folder, I've got mine here. I've already saved it, it's called ATH. That's what my project's called. And let me just show you. So you see you've got your projects here. And then when you scroll all the way down, you've got all your folders that relate to your projects. So my one's ATH by pressing there. So in this folder now, this is the folder that we're ultimately gonna turn into the expansion. Now, you don't want your expansion to be messy. And by messy, I mean having stuff in there that you don't need. So if you see here where it says one SXQ and two SXQ, you don't need these. So just get rid of them. Yeah. If you see here where it says audio 001, you don't need that. 
get rid of it. And you've got program 001. If you've got anything that looks like that, get rid of it. Okay. So the ones that look like that, the, the blue background and that little yellow cross, it should only be your kits that you're going to save. Anything else you don't need, just get rid of them. Okay. So what you should have is, if you look at here, my trap kit, you should have just a trap S XQ, so that's the sequence that you would save. So you should only have that trap kit drum and that bear. And then what you're going to do is where it says trap kit drum, we're going to copy that. And then you see here where it says project preview, that is that sound. So we're going to change that, we're going to paste that in there. And then what you need to do is press dot and X P M. Yeah, that's X-ray, Papa, Mike, or xylophone, piccolo, marimba, whatever. X P M. Yeah. So underneath all of yours, so you need to do that for all three. But with the when you're exporting, you have to do it one by one. You can't just export three project previews together because they're just going to overwrite each other because they're all going to have the same name. Okay, so you underneath all of your kits now, it should have the same. You should have like trap kit drum, trap kit drum XPM, and trap SXQ. What you need to do now is create a new folder and then you put that bracket and then write previews. that bracket and in that folder you're going to put all of your XPMs so the audio ones that you've exported in here they're going to go into that preview folder so that one Okay, cool. Now what you want to do is go to your expansion builder. So you can just search for it, it's normally the quickest way. You go in there, type in NPC expansion builder, click on it. Okay, and then it comes up like this. So what you need to do is put your own picture in there. I've already done this, again, to try and make this video as quick as possible. And then you need to fill out this information here. So I think you can put your website, or if you don't have one, you do personal dot your name dot the name of your kit, and then the title again, the name of your kit, the manufacturer. I'm just going to put my name. Um, what version is it? Just version one. Description. I put go to sound for the best African trap house. Don't really worry about where it says separate names as a group, and then choose a content directory. So there is where you're going to again locate that same folder see my ATH folder so you go you find where you save your projects you go to that folder you press on that you press OK and you press do it and then you need to choose where you want to save your XPN so where's it gonna save this expansion file to um, so you can just save it back in the same folder to be fair but just to make it easier to find I'm just gonna put it on my hard drive just name it ATH Save. Okay, so the XBN has been successfully created. Perfect. Press OK. And then that doesn't go for some reason. So just exit out of that. Oops. And then now go to your hard drive and you can see it there, ATH. So what you can do is just click on it, drag it into the main 
body of your MPC beats or MPC software. It looks like that. Cool. You go to import and then you look for it down this side where the rest of your expansions are. Oops, sorry. That's not the one we want. And that's the one we want. And you've got them here. Now, hopefully, if we press on them, it should sample them as well. And it has. That's the Afro kit. That's the house kit. That's the track kit. And that is how you make an expansion and be able to preview the sounds in MPC Beats and MPC software. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Take care.